Oh, absolutely. And uh, by the way, Adani, Port's numbers are flashing on your screen right now. So, EBITDA has come in at around 2,700 crores. This is versus the poll that we had of 2,950 crores. So, there has been a miss on that one. If you take a look at the margin, that has come in at 56.3%. This is the margin for Adani Ports. The poll that we were working with was around 62.1%. So, the two figures that I do have, there seems to be a miss right now on these. The stock is also coming off the highs. Uh, you know, it was, like Nisha mentioned, holding up well in the green but it has slipped from those levels. In fact, Vivek is standing by now to bring us a complete wrap of what's really going on with the Adani group of stocks. Vivek. Well, that's right. You know, they've been the newsmakers and the news flow continues. Uh, so what actually happened is uh, post yesterday market close, uh, number one, you know, you had the results of Adani Transmission, a very strong operational set of numbers. Uh, you also have Adani Ports, you know, that just declared its results. Uh, operationally slightly weaker than our poll, but still you know, it continues to remain in the black cup. Now, yesterday, another important development happened, uh, especially when you're talking about Adani Group stocks. Uh, the promoters actually said that they look forward to reducing pledge shareholding as far as three group companies are concerned, and the reduction of the pledge was quite significant. So in Adani ports, you know, 12% of to total 17.5% that they have pledged will be reduced. Adani Green Energy, three out of the 4.66% that they had pledged will be reduced, and Adani Transmission, 1.4% of the total 6.62% will be reduced as far as the promoter pledge shareholding is concerned. We are also awaiting the results for Dani Green Energy. Uh, we are also awaiting the results of NDTV as well as Ambuja Cements. Uh, now, from the recent intraday lows, especially when you are talking about the FNO stocks that have seen been very volatile, the recover, recovery has been very sharp. So, Adani Enterprises has actually moved up 80% from the recent intraday low that we saw a couple of sessions back, Adani Ports up over 40%, Ambuja Cement up over 20%, and ACC up over 18%. And in the cash segment, today, after quite a few sessions of continuously hitting lower circuits, the recovery has been quite sharp. So Adani Transmission, after the results yesterday, plus 10%, uh, Adani Green Energy over 8.5%, uh, Adani Total Gas continues to, you know, continues to languish at the lowest uh, circuit for eight straight sessions, and NDTV2 has recovered 12%. Now, all eyes to, tomorrow will be on the call, the analyst as well as the institutional call that Ambuja Cements is holding. And remember, Karin Advani, the CEO, will be there. So it's going to be interesting to see you know, what are the commentary coming in from that as well. All right, Vivek. Thanks so much for getting us uh, the full roundup of all the action in Adani group of uh, companies there. And uh, flashing on your screens, Adani.